Good afternoon, Golden Eagle fans. It is a beautiful fall day here in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, where the Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles are here to face their brothers, the Southern Miss Golden Eagles. Yeah, Isn't that pretty pretty wild? It is. We're playing at the M.M. Roberts Stadium, The Rock. The Rock. The Rock. Did Welcome. You just, did Welcome. You? Welcome to The Rock. I'm Sean Connery. Well, let's get right on into to the today's game. game. <laughs> it's sure to be a good one. Last week, Tech falling to TCU. That was a hard-fought game. Tech is 1-1 one one on the season, but, you know, they're still looking to beat an FBS team. Maybe they can. Maybe this is the game. Maybe it's up to the Golden Eagles to give the Golden Eagles their first FBS win. I'd like to see it. You saw there on the sideline Coach Alexander taking a little stroll as uh, Tech heads out to kick it. Well, here we are. Blake Alberts out to kick it away. And here we go. We're off. Looks like it's going to be fielded, taking out. And, oh, he's, he's going to break a tackle. Oh, Coming up right around the 29, 30-yard line. That is 28, the halfback. And now the Southern Miss Golden Eagles are going to start their drive at the 29. And we're looking for Tech's defense to really step up here. Quarterback rolling out. He fumbles the ball. And it is recovered, recovered by, by the Golden Eagles. 28, Slater Howard. Wow. <laughs> First play. Looks like that was Michael Scavo in on the tackle who forced the fumble so his teammate could pick it up. And wow. Golden Eagles off to a great start. Golden Eagles off to a poor start. Well, here we are. Bailey Fisher is going to line up under center. Got a full house set behind him. They are on the 31. It's going to be a play action. Bailey Fisher rolls out. He's going to be sacked. sacked for a loss. This looks like a poor start for both Golden Eagles here today. Golden Eagles not doing hot today, but, you know, leave it to the Golden Eagles to capitalize on that loss. I know exactly what you mean. Good. Golden Eagles. Second and 18, ball on the 39. Here comes Tech, you know, looking to go the right direction. That's preferable. Yes. You know, if they want to actually get some points on the board, unlike their only touchdown last week that came later on in the game. Right. It's going to uh, be a throw. Incomplete. Mm. A little bit of pressure. Bailey Fisher hit hard after he threw. I'm surprised there's not a flag there. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I mean, that was a really late hit. Tavin Kilpatrick, he was doing some exercises this week to get his catching game on. But, you know, still unable to put the ball in his hands. I'm still surprised they didn't throw a flag on that late hit there. I know. Now it's third and 18, ball on the 39. Looks like he's making a quick audible there. Fisher drops back. He's going to run for Quarterback it. Keeper. Oh, and he's going to be hit at about the and 28. A, flag. a face, face mask, mask penalty. The there we go. Oh. Still third and down. look at that. Third and one. Golden Eagles have another chance. Southern Miss making a mistake. They had the stop. They had a three and out, but now... Bailey Fisher and the gang have one more chance to get this first down and punch it into the end zone. It's going to be a handoff. Day Day guess. And they didn't make it. Oh. Probably gained a few inches on there, but unable to punch it for a first down. Uh, at least we're in field goal range. Yeah, well, this is an exciting first, uh, first bit of the first quarter here. Um, right. The fumble on Southern Miss's first drive. 
Uh, I was hoping Tech was going to be able to get some points out of this. So uh, was I. Oh! It looks like they're lining up to go for it. The Golden Eagles are going to go for it. Could this be a quarterback sneak? The line is loaded with bodies. Here we go. Snap, handoff to the fullback. He's got a first got down. It. Wow, Kurt Taylor Jr. on the first down. Golden Eagles pick up a first down. It's going to bring us to first and 10 on the 20. Definitely in the red zone here. Excited to see what they can do. Bailey Fisher under center. Play action. It's going to throw. Ooh. Ugh. Intended receiver was Metrius Fleming, but it was knocked down. Too much coverage there. Day Day gets to Bailey Fisher's left. Second and ten, ball on the twenty. Bailey Fisher stays in the pocket, throws out. It's caught by Quentin Cross. Looked like an odd wide receiver screen, good for three yards. It looked like he was being tackled yeah. as he was catching it. It yeah, it looked like Cross was engaged and Bailey Fisher is just like, I'll throw it to him anyway. Well, that's confidence in your wide receiver right there. Right, and it picks you up three yards. Another play action. Bailey Fisher's gonna throw to the end zone. And it, it is, is caught. caught! Metrius Fleming on the catch. That is a seventeen yard touchdown pass. Tech strikes first here in southern Mississippi. Yeah, it's good to see they're finally able to make some uh, movements on the offense after uh, a, a sad uh, loss on the road last week. Outstanding. I'm glad to see this Tech offense coming back to live again. Right. And it may be just distance. You know, have to, having to go all the way to Texas, that gives you a short turnaround to train, to get ready to sleep. But here... It's in Mississippi. It's just a less than a half day's drive. Here's Luke Maynard for the extra point. And it is good. Eight plays for 31 yards. Took two minutes off the clock. Four minutes and 50 seconds. 57 seconds left in the first quarter here and I'm excited to see what else they're going to be able to turn up especially on defense after that fumble right and here's the kickoff it's going to be fielded and brought out oh he breaks a tackle he's going to be tackled at the 20 yard line Make that the 19. And that is where Southern Miss will begin their drive. Here comes Southern Miss. It's going to be a handoff to the halfback. Ooh, brought down right there at the line of scrimmage. He got through. He got through Seth Carlisle, but a lineman was able to pick him up. And makes it only a gain of a yard. It was Josh Lee that was able to stop him. Tech shifting at the line. Be a weird Trick little... Play. Oh, fumble. another fumble! And it is picked up by Seth Carlisle. Tennessee Tech recovers ball on the 13-yard line in prime position to get some points on the board. Drink up, Seth Carlisle. You earned it. Wow, first and 10 ball on the 13. And here come the Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles. It seems about time to rename the Southern Miss the Butterfingers because they haven't been able to hold on that ball at all. They've got the colors for it, certainly. Go. Bailey Fisher's going to play action. He's going to throw. Ooh. Ooh, batted away. Looks like the intended receiver was Demetrius Fleming. Going for the home run, strike on first down. That's okay. Maybe on second down you want to run it, give you a few yards. You have a more than capable halfback in Day Day Gist. Bailey Fisher drops back to pass. Oh, he breaks away. Goes off of his back foot. It's and it intercepted. Is intercepted. Wow. A lot of turnovers today. Only two and a half minutes into the first quarter. 
and Golden Eagles all around are getting to celebrate on defense. Let's take a look at that replay one more time. Quentin Cross, the intended receiver, is able to make the tackle. Uh, if you saw it there, you saw it off of his back foot. The smartest thing to do would have just been to throw that ball away and keep it out of anyone's hands and prevent exactly what had just happened. Right. Get a little too excited. You have the ball. You make a... I think he got a little too excited there. Yeah. Some odd... An odd passing game here in Hattiesburg. I don't... Must be something in the air. It is a little cooler today. We are starting to feel that fall weather. Wind is picking up. It feels nice. Well, that one is caught. I'm not sure if they'll give him the first down yardage, and they won't. It'll be third and one on the 28-yard line. Despite that gain, Southern Miss has a total of one yard gain today. Somebody has to. <laughs> Somebody's got to gain yards. Tech loading up the box, wanting to make the stop. Fullback in motion to the left. Play clock winding down. Here's the snap. It's the handoff. Ooh! It stopped. In the backfield by Bryson Tolley, the cornerback out of Irwin, Tennessee. And that brings up fourth and one. He's breaking it down. Good job, Bryson. He needs to take it easy before he gets a... Yeah. Excessive celebration flag there. <laughs> <laughs> Which did hit the Golden Eagles last week. Definitely not what you want after making a stop and bringing it fourth and one. But here comes the punter. Tech looking for a very good return here. You know, against Samford, they did have a punt return for a touchdown. Can the Golden Eagles pull it out? No. Ooh. I can you can hear that one from here. My goodness. Well, Golden Eagles are going to start on their 27, first and 10. Haley Fisher drops back. He throws. Got it away again. Tended receiver was Bradley Clark out of Lakeland, Florida. That brings up second down. Tech. Oh, hands off to Day Day Gist who pushes forward for three or four yards. Tech has not run the ball a lot today. No, it's. They're trying to get this passing game going. As you said earlier, it's been a weird, weird start to this game as in terms of passing. We've had an interception and balls getting batted down. We had an incomplete thrown, incomplete thrown uh, by Southern Miss straight into the ground. Right. That run going to bring up a loss of one yard. It's fourth and seven. And here comes Blake Alberts to punt. That will be fair caught at the 22-yard line. That will be the 23-yard line. So here comes Southern Miss, wanting to get anything rolling today. The only thing that's rolling so far was that ball he threw at the ground. <laughs> right. Ooh. That run, good for a pickup of five. Jaquan Coles almost had him on the tackle, but he wasn't quite fast enough. Didn't quite have the angle. Quarterback drops back. He's going to run for it. Jake and Oh, he's tripped up. He might have been able to fall forward for the first down. That is Southern Miss's first first down today. Jaquan Coles was definitely bringing the pressure. I couldn't tell who that other defensive player was. Ended up getting him. But if we keep bringing the pressure like that, we're bit, we need to uh, keep from getting any further. All right. I think you assign one of your linebackers to be a spy now. Jaquan Cole's able to get through the line, but that pass is good for another first down. Brought down by Jared Howell, the cornerback out of Franklin, Tennessee. 
Yeah, as you were saying, I definitely assign a linebacker at this point to, to as a spy because the only thing worse than a single threat quarterback is a double threat quarterback. Wow. Um, you don't want to see a triple threat quarterback. You know, I don't even know what that is. And batted away Button. by Michael Scavo. Wow. Second and ten, ball on the 44. Southern Miss has been able to move this ball, and that is a testament to them not turning over the ball so soon. Yeah, on their last draw, last two drives, both have ended in fumbles. That will be hard pressed to get across the line of scrimmage. Jared Howell making the tackle for loss. This is going to be a loss of a yard. Third and eleven on the forty-three. Yeah, Tech definitely needs to make the stop here. The Southern Miss was definitely getting too much momentum here. Exactly. And oh, he's going to be sacked. Brought down. And oh, he's injured. Number nine is injured. Looks like he looks like a shoulder injury. Got hit a little too hard. He this did have a lot of people converging on him all at once. Yeah, it looks like uh, that offensive line kind of just caved in on him. Yeah. You hate to see that. This is going to be Tech's second game against a second-string quarterback now. Right, and we're only in week three. And one thing to note, Southern Miss has not been in Tech territory yet. Well, I can say that way as far as I'm concerned. Exactly. Brought it out to the 26-yard line. It's going to be first and ten Golden Eagles. Yeah. Good return by Jared Howell to get them across the 25, give them some breathing room. Bailey Fisher is in the zone, and this crowd is getting into it. They do not want to see Tech upset. Oh, it's going to be a direct snap, snap to Day Day Gist. Oh, he makes a move, and he gains about 13 yards. Wow. I was not expecting the direct snap there. Tech. Going into their bag of tricks against this bowl team, which is what you need to do if you're going to win. Yeah, definitely. They've already been successful moving the ball. They've just got to find something that works and keep uh, keep hacking at it. Exactly. And with such a high-ranking team like this, you need to score as many points as you can first to give yourself a little cushion. That won't help. Bailey Fisher is sacked. Ladies... Party is at his place. Wasn't he at the last game? No, I think we need to talk to that guy. He's going to be sacked for about a loss of 10. His second and 18 ball on the 32. Would not be surprised if the Golden Eagles threw this ball here. But you've got to watch out. Southern Miss has a lot of impact players. At safety and cornerback. There's a quarterback comparison there. Yeah. That brings us to the end of the first quarter. Uh, it's been a little bit of a weird one, Tech Man. It has. Uh, to start off, the passing game uh, was definitely a little odd. Um, luckily, the Tech was able to uh, get some points on the board after a Southern Miss fumble and then ended up getting the ball back after a second Southern Miss fumble. Exactly right. And this is all that Tech needs to do is keep the ball away from the Southern Miss Golden Eagles and just chew that clock down. And look, first quarter has already passed. It's now the second quarter. I, you know, I feel something. It's something in the air. It's the nice fall weather. Everything just feels right. I think there may be an upset today, and Tech might be able to get their first win against an FBS team. Yeah, I don't know if it's the it's the energy in the stadium or if it's the pumpkin spice, uh, but I'm definitely feeling that uh, Tennessee Tech has a pretty decent chance here at this game. Right, and we do want to take a moment, a quick memoriam. Last week, our on-the-field reporters, Techman and Asher, tragically went missing, and we have not been able to find them. Our hearts are with them, and our prayers go out to their safe return. But let's get back to this game. And we are back at the Rock. Golden Eagles have the ball. Tennessee Tech, third and 11 on the 39-yard line. Bailey Fisher going to play action. He's going to roll out to his right, and he's going to throw. Caught by Quentin Cross. 
Yes. Caught by Quentin Cross. It's going to bring up fourth and one. Number 12, happy he made the stop. So ball is on the 49, and it looks like Blake Alberts is going to come out and punt this. You know, I on this fourth and one, they went on, they went for it for a fourth and one earlier and weren't successful. But I mean, if you're you're already given another fourth and one, I would have gone back for it and see if you could make it happen. Well, they were successful. Were they? Yeah. It was Kurt Taylor Jr. who got them the first down. Oh, that's right. So with them being successful on their first fourth down conversion, I would have gone for it. Yeah. You know. Just give it back to your fullback because you only needed a few inches on that last one, and Kurt Taylor Jr. gave you about yeah. three yards. Yeah, he gave you more than you needed there. But oh well. Here come the Southern Miss Golden Eagles, facing down their cousins from Tennessee. Maybe a handoff to the halfback who's going to just get swallowed up. It's like two, maybe three yards there. Second and eight, ball on the 22. 6.15 remaining in the first half. Quarterback under center. Hand off and brought down behind the line of scrimmage. There by has Seth Carlisle. Wow, their halfback has six attempts and zero yards. I think he's ready for the league, Tech Man. I think so, too. Get this man an agent, put him in the draft. But great show by the Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to see that the offense and the defense are both making plays to get this game going. This quarterback is going to run for it, and he's going to be tackled just short of the first down. That is number 16, Christian Watson, the safety out of Duluth, Georgia. So good job, Tech, bringing up fourth and one. And once again, staying strong, Southern Miss has not made it into Tech territory. You know, that's going to be an interesting stat to look at, uh, especially with Tennessee Tech being on the road, uh, being able to keep the home team out of their side of the field. Right. Uh, home field advantage is definitely not going into effect here. Very strong show by Tennessee Tech. Bailey Fisher is under center. Here's a snap. It's a handoff to Dade Gist, who rolls out. Oh, he's able to. It's a fumble. Oh. I think it was recovered by Southern Miss. It was. Dade Gist was putting the moves on a few people. He was getting out there, but, you know, that second wave comes in and hits you when you don't expect it. And Dade Gist ends up giving up the ball. And this is the first time that the offense of Southern Miss has been in Tech territory. Yeah, it looks like we spoke a little too soon We, there. we just <laughs> had to speak. Uh, in notes on the Southern Miss offense, the uh, quarterback that was injured earlier in the game is back out on the field now. Looks like they got his shoulder injury taken care of. Number nine is back out there. Well, at least it wasn't bad. Yeah, as, as excited as we are to make stops, uh, we don't want to see players getting hurt and uh, having to end their seasons over injuries. Right. Oh, he's going to roll out. He's really going for it, and he's going to be tackled after a gain of three or four. That brings up third and six. Ball on the 34. Still tech. Great. Uh, only one for five on third down conversions, but Southern Miss, 0 for five. 0 for six? 0 for five. It was 0 for three. 0 for three. That's and incomplete. It almost went in the hands of a Tennessee Tech secondary. Right. That throw, that pass was a little too low. Intended for the halfback. And now look at this. Oh, looks uh, like they're, they're going to go for it. it. Uh, not a wise decision. Well, I think they're just trying to get something going. This is the first time they're yeah. in Tennessee Tech territory. Yeah, I think it's this might yards. come as a shock to Tennessee Tech. He's going to throw, and it's going to be caught. Complete. So it pays off, but that'll still go down in the stat book as them being unable to convert on third down. 
fourth down conversions now both both Golden Eagles have one fourth down conversion today in very similar spots and now it is first and ten ball on the 20 ball in the hands of Southern Miss quarterback is gonna cornerback is gonna keep it and he gains two or three yards Looks like it was Josh Lee, the defensive tackle out of Kathleen, Georgia, there for the stop. Right. Now it is second and eight. Clock winding down. 3.30 left in the second half. 3.30 left in the first half. Quick throw. It's a screen pass to the wide receiver who gets the first down. Oh, and now he is injured. Looks like trying to stretch to gain that first down there, kind of, uh... Looks like he pulled something, trying to overextend. Now here comes his replacement. This is not looking good for Southern Miss. Too many of their players are getting injured. Yeah, this is the second player now. Their their quarterback was able to make it back out. I, I assume the uh, the athletic trainers were able to get with him and get him uh, some exercises to, to get him back on the field, but... You just gotta not put your players in any danger, and exactly. there's no sense in in making a play if you're almost already on almost the first down. Right, that throw is inaccurate. Gonna hit a few players in the helmet. Um, but this is not what you want as you know a big team, an FBS team. Oh, he looks like the wide receiver just strained his calf muscle. He will return. Um, but you don't want to see so many of your players getting dinged up against just a small school out of Cookville. Yeah. Uh, Southern Miss is one of the schools. Uh, hold on, we got a holding call on the offense. Wow. 10 yard penalty, and still second down. Looks like Tech is gonna accept that. It looks like uh, Southern Miss's coach is a little, a little upset there. I think he just needs to sit down. These refs know what they're doing. We only play fair football. Here at Tennessee Tech. That's right. So that brings up second and 19. Looks like it's going to be a play action. And oh, intercepted. it's intercepted! Number 35, Jared Howell. And is he's going to go. Off. Keep going. Go, 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 go. To the 30, to the 20. Ooh, brought, brought down, down right on the 15 yard line. Wow. Jared Howell, the hero from two weeks ago, has returned and has given life to the Golden Eagles again and taking it away from the Golden Eagles. Jared Howell taking a bow there after that interception with an amazing return. We, I almost thought he was going to make it all the way. Right. Michael Scavo in on the pressure is able to demolish the quarterback and get up and try to block for Jared Howell. Wow. What a great return. A great field turnaround. And wow. Just tech, ball on the 16, immediately in the red zone. Yeah, I would definitely put that in the drawing for the play of the game right there. Exactly. And Jared Howell, wow. Hot, hot. Ooh, Bailey oh. Fisher! Well, he's going to be sacked, and that's going to bring up a loss of four. Brings us to the edge of the red zone. Bailey Fisher just unable to get away from the defense. That's not how you want to start an offensive drive after such of a, a defensive game like that. No, it really takes the momentum out of your offense. But Bailey Fisher drops back. He's going to throw. And Ooh, incomplete. He Bradley, took a hit there. Bradley Clark, unable to bring it in, brings up third and 14. Good news is we are in field goal range. Bad news, Tech is only one for five on third down conversions. Fisher drops back. He's going to throw across the body. It's caught by Quentin Cross. Ooh, that was close there. It looks like he was about to get sandwiched in the backfield. Yeah. Brings up fourth and five on the 11. Billy Miller, the noted holder for Luke Maynard. It's going to be a 28-yard field goal attempt. Should be a chip shot for the senior out of Bannockburn, Australia. They're going to let the play clock wind down. 
so that Southern Miss does not have a chance. Yeah, we've got less than two minutes left in this half. There's no sense in giving them the ball exactly uh, any more than we have to. And the kick is good. So with 140 left in the first half, Tennessee Tech is up 10-0. to zero. Yeah, It's exciting to see, uh, especially with playing against such a large school, uh, Southern Miss, and them not having any points on the board and almost being done with the first half. Right. So here comes Blake Alberts from Murfreesboro. Here comes the kick. And he's going to try to bring it out. Ooh. Ooh. Good stop. Right around the 14-yard 14, 14 line. That's going to cost him six yards if he would have just taken a knee. So Southern Miss going to start in their red zone. First and 10, ball on the 14. And... You are just hoping that your quarterback makes correct throws on time. No more interceptions. Maybe yeah, Southern Miss at this point is just... Oh, well, he's right looking, now for, the looking deep ball. for the deep ball. And oh, intercepted. it's intercepted! <laughs> Christian Watson, the strong safety out of Dulles, Georgia. Wow. Woohoo, look at him. <laughs> Shiver me timbers. Golden Eagles are bringing it here in Hattiesburg. Well, Southern Miss was their game plan was definitely just trying to make something happen. Oh, uh, look at that! Slater Howard, great job batting the ball. Oh my goodness! Tip drill by the Golden Eagles puts them on the 48. First and ten, Tennessee Tech. A minute and a half to go. They've got all their timeouts. I say you go for a touchdown here. Yeah, let's just go in and bring up some more points. Well, or you get sacked on first down, you know. But that's a tradition for Tennessee Tech. We want to make really good plays, and then we want to show humility. Yeah. We we don't want you to think that we are juggernauts on the field. We want you to know that we can bleed. And when you try to, you know. Yeah, we're all When the you same. try to pounce on that opportunity, that's when we get you. Here comes Bailey Fisher. High snap. Rolls out. Across the body to Quentin Cross. We've seen that play multiple times here. Still not making any progress on it. You know, it, after that crazy interception, they're, they're just not getting anything out of this drive. Yeah. Uh, but that may be just a, a sort of jet lag, culture shock of the offense isn't ready to be on the field so soon, and their defense is just killing it today. Yeah, they almost, I didn't think the quarterback was even off the field there, but exactly. <laughs> it is a complete pass touchdown, 57-yard touchdown pass to Quinton Cross. Wow! Oh, my goodness. Bailey Fisher, who got sacked and threw a one-yard pass, and now has a touchdown. An absolute laser beam <laughs> to the end zone there. Oh. Uh, 57 yards so here we are 16 to 0 pending the extra point <laughs> 52 seconds left in the first half well our plan at least our plan our I don't know plan what... is working what did i tell you <laughs> they tried to sack bailey fisher again and he threw a bomb into the end zone i call myself a genius well i can tell you we weren't expecting that and uh I don't think The Rock and the citizens of The Rock were expecting that either. No, they were it not. Is dead silent uh, in the stadium right now. Uh, and I think Blake Alberts is just going to sit in that silence for a while. He likes it, taking his time to get to the kickoff. Hey, everybody. And here we go. And they're keeping this one in the end zone. I believe this is the first time they've they've not ran it out. That's right. And it's funny because that was their star wide receiver. That was his first time receiving a kickoff, and he took a knee. Maybe that's why he's a star. He's smart. Yeah, he doesn't want to hurt himself on a play that isn't going to matter too much when it comes down to stats. Exactly. 
be a handoff. Oh, fumble. it's a fumble. Who got it? Ooh, Looks like they were able to recover it. For a five-yard gain, must have been the plan. That was Clay Mazengill who forced the fumble. The Cookville kid. Tech letting their presence be felt. Yeah, that's the fourth or fifth fumble in this game, if I'm not mistaken, and only in the first half. Right. Jaquan Coles is in the zone. Mazengill calling out to his men. He knows what's coming. It's another handoff. And just because they knew what was coming didn't mean they knew what to do about it. <laughs> But going to bring up second and two, ball on the 28-yard line. Bryson Tully is able to make the tackle. Clock is winding down. Seven seconds left. I think they're just going to hold on to this ball. If they snap it, they're fools. It's going to bring up third and two on the 28-yard line, and that's going to end our half. So here we are at halftime. Golden Eagles 17, Golden Eagles 0. Tech is in the lead. I, I'm I'm feeling very good about this game, Tech Man. I am. Uh, at, at the very start of this half, it, I mean, just kind of weird stuff was happening. The running game was starting to make a comeback, but um, Tennessee Tech finally was able to, to get a score off the fumble. Uh, they weren't able to score off the second fumble, but then they finally started making something happen and have gone down the field to score a total of tw uh, 17 points. Exactly. And after the first quarter ended... Tech was up 7-0, to zero, but it still felt like it was anybody's game. Yeah. And it still is, you know, it's only the second half, but, you know, Tech has been able to get to the second half and hold Southern Miss to very low yardage. Yeah, that's what I think is even more impressive, that Tennessee Tech has been able to hold such uh, a school with a much larger school, a much larger program, to zero points out of the entire half. It's been a first-half shutout. shutout. Uh, here for the Golden Eagles. Yeah, if I were Coach Alexander in this locker room uh, at halftime, I've got to, I'm going to be talking to the offensive line about how we're going to be able to to handle the rush. You know, it's something that they've been unsuccessful to figure out so far. Um, but they've definitely, if they want to avoid any more sacks, they're going to have to make a difference here. Exactly. And Southern Miss has fumbled the ball three times and lost it twice. And Tech has fumbled once. Turnovers galore in this game. Let's see what happens in the second half. And we are back in beautiful Mississippi, the state with no flag, here at the Rock. Oh, and look at this. Tech is going to get the ball again. Yeah, the beauty of kicking off at the beginning of the game means you get the ball halfway through the game. Wow. Wow. That's a, that's a good thing for people to know. A football game really feels like two football games. And here we go. Here's the kickoff. Going to be Metrius Fleming on the return, who gets it out to about the 25. Metrius Fleming able to run it out to the 21. And Tech will start plus one yards. Here comes Bailey Fisher. As yeah. you see, there's another look at those halftime stats. So the four turn four turnovers by Southern Miss. It's just been a weird game in the hands of the Butterfingers. There. It has. Day Day Gist runs out to the right. He oh, and he's going. got a running lane. Oh, but here comes the strong safety. The speed. He, wow! <laughs> he misses. Day Day Gist. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy nine yards. Touchdown run by Day Day Gist. Oh my god. Tennessee Tech strikes. I hope again. that Southern Miss player is okay because <laughs> he just fell flat on his face. He ate about five yards of dirt. Let's take a look at that one more time. Here he goes. Ooh! Oh. Nasty. Oh. oh. <laughs> Looks like we wow. got a new play of the game right there. <laughs> yeah, if uh, if the interception. The 57-yard 50 yard touchdown pass or the 79-yard uh, touchdown run are not the choices of the play of the game. I don't know what's going to be. Wow. Um, but I would make that the play of the game simply just because of the <laughs> Southern Miss safety <laughs> falling flat on his face <laughs> that poor with nothing to show for it. Uh, and uh, Justin Oden, the wide receiver, having a quick word with a player that does not exist 
a player who has knelt this entire game, number 69. If I'm not mistaken, that's your number, Tech Man. That is my number. Uh, I was on the practice squad for Tennessee Tech, and I will be wearing that jersey when we get to homecoming in a few weeks. But here's the kickoff. Wow. It's going to be and fielded by the wide receiver who will bring it out. Make some moves. Ooh. Ooh. It's going to cost him five yards of where he would have been had he simply just taken a knee. Looks like he was making the same moves he made on that last <laughs> play and just hitting the ground right there on the 15-yard line. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Jaquan Coles is in the zone. He is ready to eat. It's been a very exciting start to the second half. Ooh. Ooh. And a deep ball. That's ah! intercepted. Oh, my God. By Slater Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Five turnovers for Southern Miss today. And holy moly. What a great punt. Yeah, that's right there. At this point, that's... At that's Pat McAfee levels. Of that's just a quarterback punt at exactly. that point. Wow. But oh. a great interception there number by 80, Slater Howard. Yeah, number 80 almost had it, but his Butterfingers strike again, and he just hands it to Slater Howard. And here comes Bailey Fisher and the gang on their 34. And we are 22 seconds into the third quarter. It's... It was intended, was a pass intended for number nine, Bradley Clark, but it was tipped a few times, and it looked like it Bailey looked like Fisher it may, have, yeah. may, have, may have gotten tackled after that. Southern Miss, very aggressive, but although you shouldn't do it, I don't blame them because you are angry. They're frustrated. You, yeah. You know, after... Uh, <laughs> After a crazy start to the second half, uh, I'd be just as frustrated. Exactly. Tavin Kilpatrick with his first catch of the day. That catch will be good. It's going to bring up a uh, third down, and Tennessee Tech is... Ooh, Dede Gist able to make the catch, but he steps out of bounds. It's going to bring up fourth and seven. They're most likely going to punt here. Um... Yeah, it looks like they're going to bring out... Uh, Blake Alberts, the punter. Yeah, there's. I wouldn't see a reason to go for it, especially on 4th and 7. You're up 24-0. to zero. Right, there, There's nothing. There's nothing. Right. No need to risk anything here. And not even a minute has passed. <laughs> it's, <laughs> oh, man. There's the punt. Ooh, there's... it's a beauty. A rainbow. Oh. Ooh, hit very hard by Tavin Kilpatrick. Might have had a little bit of pent-up frustration because he seems to not be able to catch the ball. Yeah, wide receiver number one, I, I think he's very frustrated at this point of the game. Yeah. After being absolutely humiliated on that 79-yard touchdown run by Day Day Gist. Uh, oh, this is going to be a run by the halfback good for 12 yards and a first down. Jaquan Coles is in the zone. Five men on the line for Tech. Ooh. Ooh. Good pocket protection, but not good enough for yeah, their quarterback. Bullet there. Yeah. A bullet to the feet of his receiver. It brings up second and ten. Southern Miss on the 36-yard line. It's going to bring up second and ten. Quarterback nine under center. It's going to be play action pass and Ooh, sacked. And sacked. This coach Alexander. I he didn't is. know he wore glasses. Oh wow! You know it sunglasses. But Sam Oldham, the president's son, in on the sack for Tennessee Tech. Look at that third down efficiency. Tech twenty five percent. Southern Miss zero percent. That's not a lot. That is not a lot. Third and 17, ball on the 29. Definitely have to throw here, but sack. Wow, it's a and fumble. A fumble. And, and Tennessee picked. Tech recovers. And oh, no, oh, he's injured again. He is on his... Oh, he injured his back. Well, after taking back-to-back -back sacks, I'd say your back is going to be feeling something. Yeah, back, back, but back, back, back. For more, more, more. Yeah.
Bailey Fisher is in the zone. So is Metrius Fleming, who is on the line in this jumbo set. I'm expecting a handoff to Data Giss, but Bailey Fisher is going to drop back and throw and throw oh, an interception. It intercepted. Intended for intended for Metrius Fleming. Bailey Fisher just too quick on yeah. the draw. You know, I think this was the smartest move. There's we've been dominating on turnovers. We've had some crazy, crazy long plays. I think we just need to give them a, a, a more of a chance to try to make a comeback here. Right. And if anything, Bailey Fisher's being rather generous. You know. Yeah. It's you great know, to see that. He he loves his community, the Golden Eagle community. He loves to give to his brothers and sisters. Bailey Fisher showing great generosity. And sacked. Ooh, Jaquan Coles with his first sack of the game. First of many, I hope. That's going to bring up a loss of six. Looks like it was the second string in there again who got absolutely... Wow, up there. scattered, smothered, and covered here. A team wearing the colors of Waffle House. And the Golden Eagles wearing the colors of royalty with that purple on. Looking great. Here comes Jake Coles! Ah! Another sack. <laughs> Two sacks in a row. Third and 22, look at that smile on yeah. Coach Alexander's He's definitely face. happy to see that, especially out of one of his star players being able to make some make some moves here. You know what I want? I'm surprised I they spawned my blanket. on the two. I want my blanket. I want to feel some safety right here. Come on, Jaquan Coles. Half back in motion. Come on, Tech. Get in there. Punch it in for those two points. I want it. I know you want it. Here they come. Oh, come on. Ah! <laughs> Oh. oh, well, at least they lost 30. <gasps> There's a flag. On the defense. On the defense. Uh, it's going to like pass interference. That's going to give him first and 10. Oh, no. Jared Howell, the hero. Get him, Coach Alexander. Yeah. Coach Alexander definitely gave him a piece of his mind there, shrugging his shoulders. Oh, Tech had that stop. They had the fourth down. And look at that. First and 10. Ultimately, Southern Miss has gained three yards. Yeah, I I was really hoping to see a, a safety there, but yeah, looks like Tech had him bottled up in the back, but he's able to fall forward for three yards. Sam Oldham in on the stop. I was really hoping for a safety there. Yeah, those were great defensive plays uh, by Jaquan Cole there. Oh, and it looks like the first string quarterback is only going to be out for a week, but you know you never want to see a player get injured. Comes Jaquan Coles around the edge. And oh, another sack. Wow. That's his third sack on today's game. Coach's got, Coach Alexander is definitely excited to see that. And I know I am. Yes. Jaquan Coles. Great job. Oh, great fish move. Wow. Great swim move around the edge. Quarterback number two didn't even know what hit him. No, he didn't. Might as well have been one of his own linemen. Well, if we keep this up, we can hopefully back them up to where they started out to begin with. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Third and 13, ball on the 14, where they started this drive. Southern Miss has gained zero yards. Quarterback looking He's a little bit. He's throwing nervous. deep, and oh. it is caught, and oh. he broke loose. He's broken loose. Oh, my goodness, Slater Howard going to chase after him, but he's not going to get there. Ha! Scared me. So, yeah, he catches the ball, runs it in for a touchdown. Well, Nothing special. We've seen it every day yeah, in football. It's, I don't know. What's the cannon even for? Yeah. You know? Golden Eagles has nothing to do with cannons. I think it's just purely disrespectful to have a cannon at your game. Marching band, getting into it. 86-yard touchdown pass, nothing special. Tech. 
Look, you know, Tech's defense has been doing all the work today. It looks like they're going for two here because they're going to need to make a comeback. I hope they you throw an interception in and we run it in for two points. Yeah, hand it off to your guy. Ah! Oh, Ooh. barely good. If if there was a way to challenge that, I'd, I'd say to have another look at that. That was but. a blindside block if I've ever seen one on our corner. But oh well, I guess eight points for Southern Miss. So with 2.50 left in the third quarter, Tennessee Tech is up 24-8. to eight. Southern Miss able to luck out. After gaining zero yards on 20 plays, they were able to throw a touchdown pass. Well, Tech's got to keep an eye on that because it sounds like the only thing Southern Miss is going to be able to put together is just those money plays. Exactly. And they're playing very strongly on both defense and offense, and we just can't let those uh, dime passes be able to exactly. get to us like that. And I'm not saying you go into prevent defense right now, but, you know, definitely... Keep your safeties back a little bit further since, you know, Southern Miss is going to be looking for those big plays to yeah. get them those touchdowns quick. Bailey Fisher's going to drop back and throw out of bounds. Pass complete but caught out of bounds by Day Day Gist. That brings up second and ten. And Tech just really needs to watch out on penalties now. You know, you're winning the game. Just play disciplined football. Go back to your basics. Ooh. Yeah, that's something we haven't paid too much attention to. And I believe Tech has got maybe two or three penalties on the day. Yeah. Uh, but we definitely don't want um, just easy mistakes hurting us in the long run. Exactly, because you had a fourth down stop. And then you get pass interference called on you, and that's what leads to the touchdown. <gasps> oh, Quentin Cross unable to bring it down. He he knows it's on him, and that's going to bring out the punt team. Blake Alberts from Oakland High School. Hasn't had to come out a lot today. Yeah, he had a very big game last week against TCU. We are punting uh, almost on every drive there, but this has been a big difference here today. Right. Jake Huner at a Thompson Station is able to make the stop at the 37. So here comes Southern Miss with two and a half minutes left in the third quarter. You know, Tyman, I've been thinking this the whole time, but if you take a look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, Jaquan Coles. Absolutely devastated in the backfield. Loss of two yards. Holy moly. I think I just forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> right. Did, do you actually, did you actually forget what you were going to say? Oh, right. So if you take a look at that mascot there, yeah. uh, I know it's the UCM uh, Golden Eagles, but that looks a lot like uh, our... Golden Eagle. It does. It also looks like uh, Iowa. It does, but I mean, if you look at it, it I see awesome eagle. I, 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 I you, know, you know, the mascot. Regal face, big beak, little angry eyes. He's little, a handsome guy. Beady yeah. pupils, but an all-around good character. Great for the community. I see him farming every day, growing crops for the kids. So first and ten for the Golden Eagles going to be a handoff to the halfback who's able to bring it to midfield but not much else look at that comparison 13 rushes for 22 yards while day day gist has over 100 with only six rushes yeah, that's what happens when you get a 79 yard touchdown run where you make a wide receiver fall flat on his face safety was it a safety well yeah day day gist is on offense oh yeah well no oh okay Oh, he's going to be sacked. Wow. Uh-oh. I think we got a flag on the play. It was number 91, Henry Karamu. But there is a... F it was a Henry Karamu, and that's going to be a loss of five. Looks like there was no flag on the play. Maybe they changed their mind. Yeah. It, I could have sworn there looked like a flag on the play. 
That brings up third and 15, ball on the 43. Quarterback drops back. He's got time to throw. He's, He's throwing going for deep. a deep. And Ooh. overshot. I think he was way out of bounds. cameraman there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's also on the hunt for Tech Man and Asher. Yeah, well, if someone if someone knows their location, knows, has seen them, heard from them, please let us know. We would like to have them back. Right. Because we need on-the-field reporters for such exciting games such as this. Ooh! Able to make some moves. Well, now that you mention it, did, did they even get to the stadium last week? I don't think they did. I never did see them. And... I never heard them on the walkie-talkies after our conversation. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's get back to this game. Right. 46 seconds left in the third quarter. First and 10. This would be Bailey Fisher in the gun. Oh, and he's, he's going to keep, keep it. it. Oh, look at him go for two yards. Bailey Fisher has negative 12 rushing yards on the day. That's what happens when you get sacked 30 times. Well, I guess you're right. I, th I just think Bailey Fisher is bound and determined to get tackled on every first down, whether it's behind or in front of the line of scrimmage. Yeah. It, it may just be just something he's got in his heart that just, he's just going out to get. If the danger is not there, he will run blindly into it. Ooh. He's going to overthrow his receiver. Oh, no! McKinnon Thompson is injured on the play. So now we are down our center. Hopefully McKinnon Thompson will be okay. Yeah, we'll have to pay attention to see uh, what's going to come of McKinnon Thompson here. Daly Cole out of Hendersonville will be picking up the slack at center. Bailey Fisher drops back. It's like a... Oh, oh another interception by Bailey Fisher. You know, if it's in the game, it's in the game. Intended for Day Day Gist, who was in triple coverage at the time. Yeah, it. At this point, they're just making stupid mistakes. Right. Um, I get being generous, but now, you know, you're kind of losing the game. Yeah, at this point, you're just going to lose the game for yourself if you're just going to throw another interception yeah. and continue to get sacked behind. Yeah. Just because we both have the name Golden Eagles doesn't mean we have to be the same on every aspect of the game, like turnovers. Definitely not. And I'm glad to see a little bit of revenge there. With only a small gain. All right, a three-yard gain, and that's going to bring us to the. Oh, a little injury report on McKinnon Thompson. He had a strained shoulder, and it looks like he will return later on this game. Thank so goodness. That's exciting to see. Yeah. We're not going to be missing him for more than just uh, maybe a couple minutes. Right, and you know it. It might be fine if he, you know, rests. And stays out for the rest of this game. We've only got seven minutes left. Yeah, it's, we're it's twenty four to eight. And you know, as long as the offensive line can keep it keep it under control, I don't see a reason to even return him back into the game. But uh this this third quarter's been a little crazy. It uh, has. We came back out of the half, it was Tennessee Tech's ball, and it started out with a was that started out with a seventy nine yard run? Yeah. That was crazy and then Southern Miss gets the ball on the 13. Southern Miss gets the ball on the 14. Is unable to do anything. They get sacked on two consecutive plays. They're on the two-yard line, and then they throw the ball. It's complete, but not good enough for a first down. Then you get a pass interference call on Slater Howard. That brings it to first down on the 17. And then eventually they're able to... They get sacked again, and then he's able to throw that. Yeah, touch he threw a little, um, yeah, a little touchdown pass. <clears throat> but that's all right. Well, let's get back to the game. Here we are in the fourth quarter. Tech only has to hold out for seven more minutes. Seven minutes, and you come away with your first win against an FBS team. Yeah, well, you mentioned holding out, but there's there's not much to hold out on. Tech has been playing very strong. You have to hold out against this. Jaquan Coles is the man who is able to catch up to the halfback. 
I gotta stop speaking too soon, Tech Man. That's right. It's happened multiple times this game. What I was going to say was there's not too much of a reason to say hold out. They've been playing pretty strong yeah. on uh, defense and offense. Right. Both but sides of the balls have been pretty solid today. Good thing we've got the speedster out of Stockbridge, Georgia, in Jaquan Coles, who is out for this play. Probably needs to rest after sprinting for 30 yards. Ooh! Ooh. Big hit by Christian Watson. Blew up the second string quarterback, number two. If you see there, Southern Miss has almost double the time of possession as Tech. And that was the case in our last victory against Sanford. The 52-20 to victory. Uh, Sanford had almost double the time of possession Tennessee Tech had. Yeah, and they were able to move the ball well. They just could not score to save their lives. Another handoff to the halfback, able to fall forward for a few yards. Looks like a good stop there by number 91, Henry Caramu. Yeah. Their halfback, you know, carrying a large load, 15 carries, but, you know, he's he's not picking up the yards like Day Day Gist is able to. All right, take a look at the third down efficiency. Tech is 2 for 10, and Southern Miss is 1 for 7. For their sake, they're hoping they can turn this around and try to make a comeback. It's a quarterback. Actually, it's an option. It's an option play. Tosses back to the halfback who picks up the first down. Tiptoes. And he kept going. Wow. We're number one, he says, losing 8-24. to 24. I feel where they're at. After we this, are number one in turnovers. Yes. We are one number one in fumbles. I don't know if they're number one in the interceptions. Bailey Fisher might hold that honor right now. Yeah. I think they're just number one in the wrong categories. But yeah. as long as they're excited, you know, in, football's in golf, exciting for everybody. In golf, they are number one. Good job, Southern Miss. <laughs> Looks like another uh, tackle for loss there. Wow. Looks like their wide receiver is in the zone, but so is Jaquan Coles. So this quarterback will have to get it off quickly. Looks like it might another be another option. option. Oh. And they were kind of able to contain it, but it oh. looks like oh my another goodness. quarterback was injured. So we're going to be going to a third string quarterback. Oh my goodness. Third and five. Here comes the freshman. Let's let's see what he's got. You know, he got picked up for a reason. Yeah. You know, at this point, if you're having to put in your third string. It, it may not. I mean, this is not a game that is going to influence really either team when it comes down to conference play. Right. Um, so I think this would be a great time to see what their freshman quarterback can do. You just know. Um, oh, a dislocated finger. He's going to be out for the rest of the game. Ow. And the third string is going to go for it on fourth down. He's got five yards to gain. Probably wants to hand it off. No, he's going to keep it. And he's going to throw... Ooh, oh, almost interception. Bat it away. Looks like it was almost intercepted by Jaquan Coles, <laughs> who found his way into the end zone after being <laughs> on the line. <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> Jaquan Coles was booking it to that football. <laughs> he wants every stat of the day. Yes, he, he wants I to be where the ball is. I promise if he would have caught that ball... <laughs> He would have ran it in for a touchdown. <laughs> so here comes Tech, ball in their own eight, their worst starting position, but it's a result of Southern Miss not being able to get that fourth down. Day Day, -day Giss able to get, looks like around two on the play there. Good for him, ball on the ten, gives them a little bit of breathing room. 440 left in the fourth quarter, 24 points to Tennessee Tech. I have to say, we're on the right Golden Eagles today. Exactly. It's good to be a... Tavin? T Tavin Kilpatrick. With <laughs> well, the bane Tavin of my announcing is existence. Tavin Kilpatrick... Making his mark with his out of bounds catch, you know you got to have it to make it a Tennessee Tech game. All right. Um, Ethan Cobb, the other tight end, Bailey Fisher, just having no luck with his tight ends today. 
It's going to bring up fourth and eight on the Tennessee Tech 10 yard line. So, Tavin Kilpatrick, one drop, one catch, and one catch out of bounds today. Looks like the punt team is going to shift a little bit. Here comes Blake Alberts to punt. A little rainbow, looks a little short. Gets out to the 40 yard line. Tackled at it midfield. It almost looked like he was tackled by his own man there. Yeah. Ooh. But Ethan Cobb, the tight end, who was unable to catch that last ball, in on the tackle. So here comes number 10, the third string quarterback, Jaquan Coles, in the zone, ready to put the passing game in the hands of the punter. Oh, my like, goodness. Oh, a weird little handoff to the halfback who falls forward for four yards. I don't know if you were watching Jaquan Cole on that play, but he started out on the left side of the line and ended up on the far right side. Jaquan Cole. <laughs> he blew across the line there. and <laughs> Looks like Jaquan Coles has his own challenge today. Run a full lap around the offensive line before touching anybody <laughs> and then try to make a tackle. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, Golden Eagles able stop to behind the line there. The only person coming out of that standing is Jaquan Coles. <laughs> Christian Watson there on the stop. It's going to bring up third and six on the 46 yard line. And, you know, with 340 left in the game, Tech is still committing their safeties onto blitzes. Yeah, and you notice Southern Miss isn't, they're not using any timeouts. No, I don't not. know if they're just trying to make something happen at the end of this game, if maybe they're not trying to win it. Right. Well, oh, they're not going to win it like intercepted. that. Intercepted. Intercepted by number 48, Heath Price, the cornerback out of Watertown, Tennessee. Wow. Everybody getting in a stat today. Get it, Heath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Heath Price. At this point, there's not a reason to throw the ball, but let me tell you, Bailey Fisher will find a need to. <laughs> Richard's slamming in motion. And it's a handoff to Day Day Gist, who gets stuck on number 75, Schaefer Almoyan. And looks to only be a three-yard gain. You're not going to make it very far if you're uh, playing twister with your center. Exactly. You're only going to make it three yards. <laughs> and by center, I meant left guard. Ah, yes. So, McKinnon Thompson is back out on the field. Thank goodness. Yeah, glad to have him back. Bailey Fisher letting this clock wind down. Which is not a gonna smart decision. Up. Exactly, not going to give Southern Miss a chance. It's a handoff to the fullback, Kurt and Taylor he's Jr. still going. Look to be maybe a 20-yard gain? Yeah, brings the ball to the 45-yard line. First and 10, good job, Kurt Taylor Jr., the fullback out of Covington, Georgia. Two thirty-five left in the fourth quarter. Play clock winding down. Bailey Fisher is in the zone after handing it off twice. He's a playmaker. What can yeah, I say? Just like Colin Kaepernick. Wait. Just like Jared. Just like Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> Look, I'm a college football announcer, not an NFL <laughs> announcer. <laughs> Do you think it's my job to know who NFL players are? No. It's my job to know who the 30 people are on this team. Or 40. Do you think it's my job to know how to count? All right, we're back in this game with two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Uh, play clock winding down at nine seconds. The best thing to do is just going to drain this clock. Um, just keep running it. You know, the running game is going very strong, and he yeah, will hand it off day to Day-Day Gist. Gist with room to run it. Oh. We'll get the first down. Looks like an 11-yard run. And timeout. Uh, Southern Miss. So now they decide to take a timeout. Right as Tech gets a first down. Wise decision by Southern Miss. I gotta say, you know, A plus. He's he's three leaps ahead in this chess game. A battle of wits against the Golden Eagles. 
from Tennessee Tech. Another handoff. Oh, but oh. he's going to get free. Yeah, and he's going to push over his own blocker. It's going to bring up second and inches. Rushing yards. Tennessee Tech is absolutely demolishing the running game here. Oh, look at this cool guy. You know, little sunglasses. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. that's quarterback number one. <laughs> The man that <laughs> fell flat on his face <laughs> on Data gets 79-yard touchdown run. And I think he's got those shades on now to protect his eyes after many, the, many turf pellets went into his cranium. Either that or the flash that Data Gist has been in today's game. Yeah. And it looks like Southern Miss is just going to let Tech get first downs over and over again. Yeah, Data gets definitely celebrating there. Yeah, a lot as he walks into the defensive <laughs> zone. <laughs> he looks like he's just going to walk the ball there. On his <laughs> I'm not going to wait for the snap. I'm just going to do it on my own. Just uh, throw it. I'll take the penalty. <laughs> Clock winding down. We've got a minute and a half left in this game, and Tech might win against their first FBS team. You know, I'd say I want to change that to might, but every time I felt confident about this tech team, something like that happens. Um, Data gets with a rush of zero yards, but it doesn't matter. It keeps the... Never mind. Southern Miss takes a timeout. It's going to be their final timeout of today's game with a minute and ten seconds left in the game. All tech needs... It, nothing. They don't, they don't need anything. Tennessee Tech players of the game is Michael Scavo. Michael Scavo having five tackles on the day. Mitra's Fleming shuffling to the left. He is hauling it over there. Yeah, a little crab step. Courtesy of the crossmen of DCI. Hand off to Dede Gist. Ooh! Working the moves is going to gain around five or six to bring up third and five. And well, I think you let that play clock wind down to one and snap yeah. it. Definitely, there's, there's, there's no reason to uh, even think about trying to even like process a throwing play here just keep running this ball you know the linemen are all saying get behind us we're just going to push our way out of this we're making a great win over a team that is much larger than us and has a much larger program yeah another handoff to day day guest who's going to fall forward for the first Looks oh. bring up fourth and inches at this i would just go for it just you go know, for it. You know, you, you you made that first down, that fourth down conversion earlier in today's game, but it looks like looks they're going to bring out the kicking team. Wow, look at that, Luke Maynard, gonna you know seal the deal here. That's going to be his second field goal attempt of the day. I his think, first one was successful. I think what we can do is put our wings up, let the play clock wind down. Luke Maynard, the kick should take enough time to end the game. The 29-yard field goal attempt. We are seven seconds away from winning against, from getting our first win against an FBS team, and the kick is good. Luke Maynard putting us up 27 to eight over Southern Miss, and Tech is two seconds away from glory, getting their first win against an FBS yeah, this team. This is exciting. This is very exciting. This is history in the making. For the Golden yeah, Eagles. The players are all excited down on the field because they know after this kickoff, this is going to be it. They're not even going to have time to make a play unless they uh, take a knee in the end zone. Which, you know, if it's going towards the end zone, if you are Southern Miss, what you want to do is not touch it. Well, you know, Southern Miss may have a chance. Oh, look at this. Like he's going to bring it out for a touchdown out. run. And look at that. A <laughs> touchdown at the 20 yard line. An injured player, Ashton <sighs> Maples, trying to make a play on a tackle. Injured his chest as he. Well. Well, here comes Coach Alexander shaking the hand of the man he beat. You know, it's exciting to see the. The family of Golden Eagles being good sports. You know, everybody's out there. Bailey Fisher had an amazing day today. So, Tennessee Tech is going to get their first win against an FBS team here in Hattiesburg. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. Uh, this, this, it hasn't happened before. Like you said, we're making history here today. Um, I'm, just, I'm just really excited. We made some really good plays on offense and defense. Um, some very large uh, touchdown runs very large touchdown throws you know we we may have made some silly mistakes here and there but you know we won 27 to 8 
over a team that... Uh, that's Ultimately, a, some will say we should have lost to. Yes, and you know we lost against TCU last week, um, and it's another team that that's in the same situation. They're a larger school, they're a larger program, bigger stadium, uh, but we were just able to come on, uh, come out on top today, and it's very excited to see. Exactly, this is an amazing feeling. The fall winter is starting to come in. It felt great today. It was perfect football weather, and looked like it helped the Golden Eagles win against Southern Miss. So we are finally going home next week as we are going to have our home opener against North Carolina State. Yeah, Tucker Stadium is an amazing place. The atmosphere, uh, the band, honestly, is one of my favorite parts. Exactly. And it's definitely not because you and I were both in it. Um, the Tennessee Tech band is just absolutely amazing. Yeah, they, they bring another level of the atmosphere into game day. Uh, I'm just really excited to get back home, Tech Man. Exactly. And, you know, after that, we will finally get into our Ohio Valley Conference yeah. play, which is very exciting. And I'm ready to see what is to come next week at home. Well, from here, everybody in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, I am Tech Man. And I'm Asher Nicholson. And we're going to sign off and see you all next week against North Carolina State. Wings up, everybody.